Welcome back guys, this is Campy and in the last clip we woke up in a hospital and we had a long nice chat with the nurse. Just looking at this pillow makes me wonder how many people have died with their heads on it. I'm sure it's been washed many times since then, but it still sends a chill down my spine. Come to think about it, I nearly died here myself. Wait, I did die for a moment, didn't I? There's nothing interesting under the pillow. Then why was there an option to look under the pillow if there's nothing under the pillow? The needles are stuck at 10.08. It's probably broken or maybe it just needs new batteries. It's full of latex gloves, three different sizes. A sink for a loud, loud knocking noise when I uh, turned it on. It's a list of drugs for patient in side room two. I guess that's me then. I'm on a lot of sedatives, it appears. The stuff they're giving me could knock out a horse and give it a headache for a week too. It could also cause hallucinations and paranoia. How bizarre. Why would they want to give me all that? I'm not crazy. I know that for sure. If anyone's crazy here, it's someone who put me on all this medication for no good medical reason. They're just trying to make money. Sell and use drugs. It's a list of drugs for patient in side room 1 and some notes. According to this, her name is Ann Burton, 35 years of age. She's taking lots of sedatives and has a long history of drug abuse. It seems that on top of, on top of it all, she's taking methadone for heroin withdrawal syndrome. At the bottom of the page, there's a note saying she's actually a private patient who's staying here out of her own free will. Lucky lady. I guess it won't be so easy for me to leave the ward. Let's leave the cold water on. I'm not sleeping in someone else's bed. A dirty looking pillow. There's nothing interesting under the pillow. The needles are stuck at 1140. I bet she thinks those red rim glasses make her look attractive. I know her kind all too well, completely dedicated to her job, yet totally brainless and closed minded. Wow, that's pretty harsh. I'd like to go home now. Well, so would I. But there are procedures and a system in place. I can't just Sarcastic let you go like that. B. What? Look, I'm very busy at the moment. I'll come and talk to you in a minute, all right? Can I make a phone call, please? Oh, yes, of course. But the phone's being used at the moment. Can you please come back in five minutes? Thanks. Okay. I feel much better now. Can you please discharge me? I'm glad to hear that. But I can't discharge you until Dr. X sees you. He should be doing his round very soon. Please return to your bed and wait for him, all right? Is Liz here? And who's Liz? That young nurse who was here last night. Black hair, very chatty. 
She said her name was Liz. Uh, I'm sorry, a lot of people come through here. I can't remember everyone's name. Why not? Can you return to your bed now, please? It's nearly time for your medication. I can't be chasing around after every single patient. Beg your pardon? Man, what a major Look, biatch. I'm very busy at the moment. I'll come and talk to you in a minute, alright? What's she busy doing? She's just like staring at the ground, sitting there. Looks kind of look, looks like she's sleeping. Wake up! It's a discharge letter for Anne Burton, completely, currently a patient in side room one. Please do not touch these. They are all confidential documents. Yeah? Well, maybe you shouldn't leave them out on the desk for everyone to see. If you are looking for something to read, we have some magazines for patients here. Thanks, but I think I'll pass. These must be patient files. They are piled up on a desk. Let me take them. Please do not touch these. They are all confidential all right, all right. documents. I was only going to tidy up. I'm sorry, <laughs> are you one of the housekeepers? Why did you dress up as a patient? I just can't stand mess, that's all. And there's no need to be sarcastic. Who's being sarcastic? Let me through. I'm going home. Can I see the discharge letter first? If you haven't been discharged by the doctors, I'm afraid I can't let you through. You have no right! I am a free person, and I'll do what I want. I'm not staying here a minute longer. I'll have to see the letter first. May I ask what your name is? I'll come back later. Please do, Mum. We'll be right here. <laughs> Looks like a younger version of the main character. Another suicidal patient. Strange. She looks like someone I know. Hi. Are you all right? Can we talk for a minute? I can't talk. Please, just leave me alone. Oh, I mean you no harm. I'm trapped here, just like you. Trapped? I don't know. It's just so hard to think without it. But you're a stranger. And you're not one of those lovely nurses either. They look after me so well. I trust the nurses like I trusted my mother. I just want to talk. I need your help. Unless it's mother who sent you. Was it her? Please tell me it was her. Um, yeah, sure. I'm a good friend of your mother. I miss her so much. I can't remember you very well. Oh, I'm hurt. You should know this. If you really are a friend, you will know my mother's name. The name that haunts me. A beautiful name. Mama. Yeah, sure I do. Now, let me ask you. What is it? Oh, well... What is my mother's name? Hmm... Uh... Sarah. No. All right then. Shall we swap our name bands? Mother always told me not to talk to strangers. I can't take it. I I'm being good now. Only talk to my nurses and good friends. Alright, we're 
in the crapper now. Garbage bin. Let's go dumpster diving. It looks like it, it hasn't been emptied for a while. There are lots of discarded medication pots in there, among other gross stuff. I'll take one of these medication pots. I can't look at myself. The mirror is cracked. A large shard of glass is laying on a side. If they find it on me, they'll think I'm a complete psycho. But it might be useful too. I'll risk it. You never know. Please stop writing messages on a mirror while we are currently experiencing difficulties maintaining high level of cleanliness due to sudden absence of recleaning staff. We ask all patients to be considerate and help us keep the ward tidy. Writing stuff. So maybe something on a mirror. Let's use the toilet. The lid is down. Fine, lift the lid up. And take a crap. I've dying for a wee ever since I woke up. Oop, close your eyes, boys. Backwards. Someone is coming. Have you rang the bell? Is there an emergency? Emergency to poop. I'm feeling a bit woozy. Are you really? You look fine to me. No, I I'm really not feeling well. Fine, I'll call the doctor for you. But I can't help it if he's busy and can't get here straight away. In the meantime, I know how to make you feel better. I think it's time we give you some medication. Can you please tell me your name and your date of birth? Susan Ashworth, 24th of May. 1970. I'm just going to check your name band now to confirm that. That's fine. That's fine. I'd like you to drink this liquid, please. It will help you relax. It will mm -hmm. help you relax. Drugs, yes. Take drugs. That's a good girl. Now, drink it down. You'll feel much better. Yes, I feel awesome! Sheila. Oh, another messed up looking machine. Are those hubcaps on a wall? What the hell is this? Giant beating heart. Okay, can't go that way. Narcotic heart. So hard to concentrate. Is this thing filled with drugs? Do I cut it? Red liquid is gushing out. Uh, I fill it up with this drug. Is it a drug? What is it exactly and how did I get it? It's all a bit blurry. I can't remember much. 
I have probably had enough drugs already. Drinking this will probably kill me. It looks like one of those McDonald's cups full of ketchup. I don't need that right now. I hope you enjoyed this clip. If you did, please subscribe and share this video. And I will see you in the next clip.